Hey everybody and welcome back to class here at Move with Sable. Today I have about a 15-20 minute yoga stretch video that focuses on your hips and your hamstrings. Now I'm pretty sweaty and red faced because I just did my 30 minute heart rate in the zone cycling class and this yoga stretch is a great video to do after any cycling workout. If you're not subscribed yet, go ahead and do that so that you can see when all the classes I have are available. So I'm gonna cue up the music, we'll get started with this stretch today. So we're gonna start just comfortable here in your sit bones, roll the shoulders up, down, and back, and start to breathe. One more back, and let's roll it forward. Now this yoga video is all on the mat. One more forward, and then we're gonna extend through those elbows, kind of lengthening your spine from your tailbone through the crown of your head. Exhale it forward. Extend up. Exhale forward. One more in. Exhale forward. And then we're gonna take our legs out long in front for seated forward fold. Flex the feet up first, inhale up and then reach over toward those toes. Inhale up, point the toes. Really lengthen out the shin and the top of the leg right here. Inhale up, on the flex foot again. Inhale up. Flex that foot again. Can you shift your weight a little bit further forward? And then pull those feet in for a butterfly or cobbler stretch. So the bottom of your feet are together, knees are out. And don't forget to connect to your breath work right here. One more time out. One more time in. So can you shift your weight a little bit further forward on this one, on this move? Now that you've opened a little bit. And then we're gonna take our right leg out into a seated single leg hamstring stretch. So kind of walk yourself out. Find where you're comfortable and then go a little bit further. One more breath here. And then we're gonna cross that left ankle on top of your right knee, pull your right ankle in and push your chest towards your shin. Big breath, exhale, and we're gonna take that top foot over to the floor. Inhale, exhale. And then we're gonna fold that top leg down into a lotus stretch or a double pigeon. Sometimes the names of these stretches are different, but you're trying to stack your knees and shins as tight as possible. Now if something has a little bit extra tightness for you, stay there another beat. And every time you exhale, I want you to think about releasing tension here and on the back of your leg. Make that mental connection. Lift that up, we're gonna switch to the other side. So the left leg is going out. So again, find where you're comfortable and then go a little bit further in your stretch. So flexibility gets better as you do it, like most everything else that we do, right? You can't expect to get more range of motion out of your muscles 
unless you push into that extra range of motion. Now cross that right ankle on top. Push your chest towards your shin right here. And then take that right foot over. And try and get over your right shoulder right here. So I'm looking right at you. You looking right back at me? And then we're gonna fold this down into that double pigeon, double lotus right here. So I'm taking some big inhales, lengthening spine, pulling the ribs in, exhaling forward. Because my right side's always just a little bit tighter, so I'm gonna take a little bit extra care with it. Lifting up here, I'm gonna bring my right knee to the side. So this is a pretzel position. I'm gonna push my hips forward and I'm reaching behind my body with my right hand. And pull that down. Let's do it again. When you go up this time, I want you to inhale here. Exhale back. One more time, inhale here. Exhale back. Beautiful work. Let's take the other side. So swing your right leg around in front. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Lengthen all the way from your shoulder to your hip on this stretch. Give me one more here. Push hips forward. And down. Let's go ahead and leave that right leg forward and take a kneeling hip flexor stretch, okay? So I'm gonna push everything in forward, right here, okay? Let's clasp those hands behind. And then push the toes up on that right foot, hold it back. So you're gonna, you're gonna wanna lean Go ahead and shift your weight straight over behind that foot. And then rock it forward again. And back again. Perfect. So we're gonna take that knee back and do the same thing on the other side. Shift everything forward, clasp those hands behind. And push those toes up on the left foot. Are you still breathing here? Are you still focusing on releasing that tension? Lift it up again. Shift it back one more time. Perfect, now bring both feet back. Sit back onto your heels. And then we're gonna extend from the hip, lift. And if you can, we're gonna take one hand down at a time all the way to those heels. So you should really feel this here. Good, down. And let's draw down into child's pose. From child's pose, we're gonna lift into upward dog. Squeezing that booty, flexing away from the floor. And then we'll exhale back into downward dog.
From here, we're gonna draw that left leg up into pigeon. Perfect. Tuck those toes, push back into downward dog again. And we're gonna pull that right leg up into pigeon. And tuck that toe. We're gonna take that upward dog, down dog combo again. And we're gonna try and again push that range of motion. If you can get your right arm down. Step it back, child's pose. We're gonna try the same thing on the other side. Trying to get that left arm down. And we're gonna use those hands for support, take it back into child's pose. So really push everything back into the hips right here. So that is about your 15 minute yoga active stretch for hips and hamstrings. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this stretch here, if it helped you, go ahead and give me a like and let me know. Show me some love. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next time.